This section outlines strategic priorities required for all projects. All applicants must meet at least one strategic priority. There are nine priorities and applicants are able to select more than one. Access to fixed transit, greater Minnesota workforce housing, economic integration, tribal, community development initiative, preservation, supportive housing, tax exempt bond allocation, and minimum point requirement. The tax exempt bond allocation and minimum point requirement priorities are new for the 2020 RFP 2021 tax credit funding round. The first strategic priority is access to fixed transit and is for projects within one half mile of a planned or existing light rail transit, bus rapid transit, or commuter rail station. For this strategic priority, applicants must select and demonstrate eligibility for selection criteria 3D1AI to meet this threshold. The slide indicates what this selection criterion looks like on the self-scoring worksheet. For scattered site projects, at least 51% of the total units must meet the threshold. The second strategic priority is Greater Minnesota Workforce Housing. Projects must provide supporting documentation that demonstrates both need and employer support. Need is defined as projects in communities with low vacancy, typically considered 4% and below, documented by a market study or other third-party data, and that can demonstrate at least one of the following. The community has experienced net job growth of 100 or more jobs. The community has 15% or more of the workforce commuting 30 or more miles to work. Or the community has planned job expansion documented by a local employer. The second requirement to meet this priority is to demonstrate employer support. This can be done with a letter of support from an employer with 20 or more full-time employees. For scattered site projects, at least 51% of the total units must meet the threshold. The third strategic priority is economic integration and is for projects located in higher income communities in the Twin Cities seven county metropolitan area and areas in or around Duluth, Rochester, and St. Cloud with access to low and moderate wage jobs meeting either first or second tier economic integration as defined in the increasing geographic choice category. This means that applicants must select and demonstrate eligibility for either selection criteria 3A, 1B, I, first tier, or selection criteria 3A, 1B, I, I, second tier, to meet this threshold. The slide indicates what this selection criterion looks like on the self-scoring worksheet. The geographic location will be verified by Minnesota Housing staff, which means applicants do not need to submit supporting documentation. For scattered site projects, at least 51% of the total units must meet the threshold. The fourth strategic priority is tribal and is for projects sponsored by tribal governments, tribal designated housing entities, or tribal corporate entities. To meet this threshold, applicants must either list the tribal government, the tribally designated housing entity, or the tribal corporate entity as the owner sponsor on the development team tab in the multifamily workbook which will be submitted with the application, or provide an organizational chart of the proposed ownership entity describing the tribe's participation in percentage of ownership. The fifth strategic priority is the Community Development Initiative and is for projects that contribute to active implementation of a Community Development Initiative as defined in the Community Development Initiative Selection Criterion to address locally identified needs and priorities in which local stakeholders are actively engaged. Applicants must select and be eligible for selection criteria 4A1 to meet this priority, including submitting a completed community development initiative narrative. This slide indicates what the criterion looks like. More information will be provided on this criterion later in the training. The sixth strategic priority is preservation, which is for projects that preserve existing federally assisted housing or other critical affordable housing. Applicants must meet one of the following preservation selection criteria thresholds. Risk of loss due to market conversion, risk of loss due to critical physical needs, 
or risk of loss due to ownership capacity program commitment. Additionally, applicants must be eligible for one of the following preservation selection criteria to meet this threshold. Existing federal assistance, Tier 1, project-based rental assistance operating subsidies. Existing federal assistance, Tier 2, or critical affordable units at risk of loss. For scattered site projects, at least 51% of the total units must meet the threshold. The seventh strategic priority is supportive housing, which is for projects that will serve people with disabilities or high-priority homeless households. Projects must be eligible under one of the following selection criteria. 1B, Permanent Supportive Housing for High-Priority Homeless, HPH, or 1C, People with Disabilities, PWD. The slide indicates what the selection criterion looks like on the self-scoring worksheet. The eighth strategic priority and the first of two new strategic priorities for this funding round is the tax-exempt bond allocation priority. As required by Minnesota Statute, Section 462A.222, Subdivision 3D, residential rental housing projects financed with an allocation of tax-exempt bonds under Chapter 474A are the highest strategic priority, and such developments are therefore not required to meet a separate strategic priority. This priority will be listed as Strategic Priority H on the self-scoring worksheet. The final strategic priority and second of the two new priorities is the minimum point requirement priority. A request for Minnesota Housing Administered Tax Credits from the state's tax credit volume cap need not meet a separate strategic priority if projects demonstrate they are eligible for not fewer than 70 points, excluding projects funded through the Rural Development Small Projects set-aside which only require a minimum of 30 points. Keep in mind that applicants must claim and be determined eligible by Minnesota Housing to receive at least 70 points to meet this priority. Along with the tax-exempt bond allocation priority, this priority will also be listed as Strategic Priority H on the self-scoring worksheet. 